office Ms. Candy Blog, where candy is always in vogue, and so that you stay in the know, go ahead and follow me wherever you are going, you're watching me from, and if you're on YouTube, subscribe! So, I have something to share with you all tonight. I am really, really, really excited. I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a tease about it, okay? I'm Ms. Candy Blog, where candy is always in vogue, and I do candy reviews and I talk about candy. I talk about candy in beauty, candy in fashion, and I talk about RuPaul. And Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm really excited. What I've been doing is I've been doing candy reviews of all Valentine's Day, all like the past few days and weeks. And I got an email from a fun company that I know we have it. It's out of Florida. I know we have it in New York. I know there's one in Texas. There's one all around the country. The company is called It's Sugar, baby. Yes. It's Sugar. And they have given me, hey, Texas Sprinkles, they have given me a beautiful gift that I am going to share with you and share how you can win that in a few minutes. But first, we're going to talk about candy. Yes. So let's get down to the candy because I'm not here to eat the candy. I'm really here to tell you what it tastes like, feels like, smells like. Is it with your time? Is it with your money? Is it with your calories? Okay. So let's get popping. Now here's how we do this. Here's how we do this. I'm going to share a candy with you. And if you want to see me try that candy, what I want you to do is tap, 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 tap on the screen and let me know that you want to see me try this candy. I'm going to give you options. You can vote as many times as you want for this little candy review we're doing tonight. Okay? Okay, let me go get the candy. Hold on. All right. I'm so excited. I got it. I'm so excited. Because either one of these that you pick, I'm going to win because I'm going to get to eat it. Okay. Lily my goods up. Swords dog. I'm ready to con. Hello. Santika Mushmini. Zorpi, hello. Aww. Aww, you're so sweet. Ranga, thank you so much, Zorpi. Five. Oh, he's the kind of run gold. Okay. All right. So the first candy I want you to vote. You vote by tap, 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 tapping on the screen. Let me know that you want to see me try that candy. Okay. So the first candy that we have tonight, I'm going to give you two. The first one, these are both Valentine's Day candies. Okay. The first one is M&M's Cupid Messages M&M's. These are different M&M's for Valentine's Day. Do you want to see me try these? Go ahead and tap, 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 tap on screen if you want to see me try these Cupid Message M&M's, which I got these at Target. Anybody want to see it? Go ahead and tap, 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 tap on screen and let me know that you want to see me try this. Hi, Sylvan. How are you? It's nice to see you. Hi. Okay, okay. Oh, Periscope's blowing up over there. I'm seeing something happening over there on Instagram. All right, all right, all right. Maybe you want to see this one instead. So stop tapping. Stop tapping. Stop tapping. Hey, hey, something, woman. How are you? Okay, here we go. Here's the other option. Ready? 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 Here we go. Do you want to see me try? Butterfinger! Yes! Butterfinger! Tap, 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 on screen! If you want to see me try, Butterfinger! Ooh! Live starts going, blowing up! And Instagram's got some stuff happening too. Wow! Eric likes this stream, alright! I think the Butterfinger is the winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Yes! Okay, let's get down to it. Maybe these will happen another night. Okay, so let's open these up. But in case you just joined, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway of It's Sugar's Big Valentine Treat to me. And I'm going to share, share with you how to win that. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you how, that, how we're going to do that after we do this candy review. Now, this is serious business. And I am very serious about my candy, hence Ms. Candy Blog. That's how I got it. I want to see what the m and M's say. Oh, hi, Eric. How are you? Okay. So this is Butterfinger's version of a... Hi, Aurelia. How are you? Yes, you're going to win some candy. Maybe we're going to have a lucky winner. Yes. And tell you how to win. Okay. So this is a bag of Butterfinger hearts. Last night, I reviewed Nestle Crunch Hearts. I bet they're very, very similar to the Nestle Crunch Hearts because they're both made by Nestle. Butterfinger is a Nestle product. And a little bit that you should know about Butterfinger 
is Butterfinger used to contain something called GMOs, genetically modified organisms. And uh, the people of Germany really did not like that, so they stopped eating Butterfingers. And what Butterfinger did was, let's see if it says it, it says it right there. They went and they took all the junk, all the GMOs, they took them all out of the food and they re-released it with a new label that says no artificial flavors or colors right over there. No artificial flavors or colors. So this is a more natural tasting candy than it used to be, supposedly. Let's see what it's like, shall we? But first, you must know that if I'm going to open up a seasonal bag, I have the standard bar so we can compare what a regular Butterfinger is like to the seasonal. Now, if you have an option between a regular bar and a seasonal, how many things are you on? <laughs> I'm on five tonight. You now took a dive. Um, so when you have a seasonal, this is usually fresher than this bar. This, who knew? We don't know how long this bar has been on the shelf, okay? But this bag for Valentine's Day, we know it's fresh out for the season for Valentine's Day. So typically, seasonal candy is fresher than the regular version. Let's see what happens when we open this up. Now, let's look at the regular Butterfinger bar first, but let me take a drink. Okay, so this is a Butterfinger. You're welcome for answers, but give me chemicals. <laughs> Somebody's like, give me chemicals. Hi, you're really so I'm opening this up. It's easy to, easier to open than the Kit Kat I opened the other day. If you want to see me struggle with a Kit Kat, I took me like three minutes to open a Kit Kat. It's on YouTube. You can go watch there. Okay, so this candy that sticks to the teeth. This is what the Butterfinger looks like. And I can tell you, I'm going to let you see it up close. There is a slight discoloration of the candy bar. So that means... When you see a whitish coating on a candy bar, which this has, and you'll see that it's not, there's like a slight shine in certain places, but not in other places. This has changed in temperature. There's been a, a heat, uh, it's gone from hot to cold. And what happens is when the fats separate in the candy, it causes that whitish coating, which is safe to eat. It just doesn't taste as good as it normally does because it's actually kind of, Con not contaminated, but it's played with the chemicals that, that happen in chocolates. Hi, Candy Shop 1986. <laughs> okay, so this is what Alicia, hi! So this is what this looks like right now. Let me show you the Butterfinger Heart. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't want to open when I do that. So let's see. This is ridiculous. There, it opened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so last night we had silver, red, and pink hearts from Nestle. Tonight we have pink, red, hi Yuki XX, and gold. These are the Butterfinger uh, hearts. Let's open up one and see what it looks like. I'll open up a gold one. Hi. Hi, Creative Carly. How are you? Hey, miss, what's up? Data. I'll follow you after this uh, broadcast, I hope, because I got, got a bunch of stuff going on at once. I got five streams at once and two different candy bars. Okay, so this is what the heart looks like in my hand. And this is what the back of the heart looks like in my hand. You see there are teeny tiny little pieces that are orangish in this piece of chocolate. Now this piece of chocolate is very shiny. Here's why. Because often, chocolate has a, hey Bianca, chocolate has a waxy coating. And sometimes, if it's not the best chocolate, you really have to suck or lick the chocolate till you get through to actually taste the chocolate. So I'm going to do that right now and tell you how the chocolate is on these two items. Here I go, ready? This, no flavor. It's pure wax, okay? Plus, we know there's been a change in temperature, so this isn't the best experience. Let's try this one. Okay, so this chocolate is smoother than this chocolate. This chocolate's kind of kind of um, crumbly tasting. And this one is smooth, but I really can't taste it all that much, okay? Usually, a more expensive chocolate has less wax on it, so you'll taste it more quickly the more money you spend. 
So let's take a bite of this now and see. Well, let's, yeah, I'll bite it. Wow, that thing came right off. Wow, okay. This is stale. I actually wouldn't, like, I just spit this out. But good. But I'll eat it. This is stale, which I expected from the color of the chocolate. Okay? But what you do when you bite this, if you've never had a Butterfinger, it's flakely. Fl this orange part is Butterfinger inspired. It's flaky and crispy and crunchy. Very mouth watering. Hi, Mac Easy Media. Hi, fun, fun woman. Okay. So this is not a fresh bar. Which we knew would happen. We knew that. Hi, Mac Easy. Now, hi Miguel. Thanks for following Ted, Ted bro. Okay, now with this piece, I'm gonna bite it. I'm gonna see what happens, okay? Hmm. Hmm. The chocolate on this is better. It's smooth, I can taste the full flavor. Now, here's the thing. If you're really into peanut butter filling, there's no comparison here. This has little peanut buttery flakes. This has a whole heck of a lot of peanut butter. So, last night when I tried the Nestle Hearts, I told you to eat the bar. But today, I'm telling you, if you want a Butterfinger taste for Valentine's Day, buy the bag. Because even if you like a lot of peanut butter, you're not gonna necessarily get a fresh one, but these will definitely be fresh. Okay, you know what time it is? It's time for me to tell you about how to win some candy from It's Sugar, yes! Let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how to win and then I'll show you what you're gonna win, okay? Okay, it's from It's Sugar, and what you have to do to win this is, I want you to go to my YouTube channel. So you go to my YouTube channel, you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and on the last video I upload, the brand newest, newest one, what I want you to do is, I want you to write me and tell me about your favorite Valentine's Day candy. So, go to YouTube, find Ms. Candy Blog, subscribe, and on the latest video that I did, I want you to write what your favorite Valentine's Day candy is. And your name will be put into a hat. This contest goes on from now until 12 a.m. on Valentine's Day. You can only enter once. Only enter once. Subscribe. Put a comment down. Your name's going to go in a drawing I'm going to pick. And then we'll find out who the winner is. And what are you going to win? Let me show you. Now, if you've ever been to It's Sugar, they have massive, massive candies. Massive. Like a five pound Hershey bar and like huge lollipops. It's, and if, you, if you've been following me and followed me on Periscope in 2015, I had a like a huge five pound box of Sour Patch Kids. Well, they still have the big candy. And for Valentine's Day, they got a special item. Let me go get it. Show, show you what it's looked like. What you can possibly win. <laughs> Ready? Dan it. A two-pound gummy bear! Yes! A two-pound gummy bear from It's Sugar can be yours if you go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, and go ahead and put the comment of what your favorite Valentine's Day candy is, and you will win this two-pound gummy bear from It's Sugar! Hello, copyright agent. How are you? You can read more about this. I'm gonna put it across my social. So if you were on Snapchat, it's there. It's on it for my Instagram um, little thing in the corner. I'm, I'm gonna have it posted and more information. But you can win this. It says on the back, two pound gummy bear. So big, as big as your head. No, seriously, see for yourself. Nine inches tall, 400 times bigger than your average gummy bear. That's a whole lot of yummy, nummy gummy. A whole, a whopping of 23 surveys. Mega gummy bear made in the USA. Yes! Yes! I'd like you to take a picture of this and tweet me with the hashtag It's Sugar. If you can do that. I don't know if you can. Maybe I'm asking way too much. But I'm going to be talking about this 
yummy, yummy, gummy for the next few days. Okay, okay. You know what to do to how to win. Two pound gummy bear. It's sugar. Okay, okay. Candy kisses. I will talk to you soon. Like, subscribe, and share. Have fun. Sweet dreams. Bye.